it's so fucking bad, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna go outside for it. It's not even doing it right now. What's up, Mopar fam? We have a, a job going down over here, as you can see. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff tore off of poor Zorro. And Zorro was filthy, absolutely filthy. But as you guys know, we came back from the rock um, not long ago. Uh, my son's been driving the car back and forth to work, no problems. Other day he pulled up in the driveway and it was hammering. I'm talking ticking just beating and banging it was hammering guys so we suspected a cam lifter failure um the car has about 120 what's it got 124,000 miles on it right now yeah, hard. <clears throat> original cam um so as you can see we've been working on this thing today uh we started at about uh five o'clock today i think we're going on nine nine something o'clock right now so i mean we got four or five hours in it and we're at least kind of to the halfway point we got the old cam out all the parts out um we just got to put the new cam in which uh, let me grab this guy for you no shocker that we're gonna be running a texas speed cam from none other than flying ryan performance um so this is pretty hefty cam this is his tomahawk cam guys so zorro is going to be getting a tomahawk cam in the 5.7 um we just added a converter not long ago so it's kind of a a good thing we just did the converter but i'm going to show you how quick this car had a failure how lucky we got really but um so check this out. So this car was hammering. I'm talking like literally <laughs> knocking. I'll, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, actually. yeah. <laughs> My son's like, yeah, it's pretty accurate. So um, this, can't, this, this car was hammering. I mean, it was absolutely knocking, guys. And I expected definitely a cam or cam and lifter failure. Um, I knew right away. <laughs> and I've never pulled a Hemi cam out that I've done a failure on and the cam not be destroyed. Um, well, this thing started knocking and he pretty much immediately like turned around, came back home and we shut it down. So it, it, it ran what, 30 minutes when he started noticing, noticing it knocking and ticking. So the car ran 30 minutes when on the way back home ticking. And this is what we got. Actually has all the lobes on it are good. All the cam lobes look pretty good. I mean, it's got your normal wear with 120 something thousand miles on the car, but no damage, no no grinding, no no shaving down like they normally do. We had one bad lifter like you pretty much always do. MDS. <clears throat> and actually, this one, um, you know, when I did the Ram truck not long ago, I did a 6.4 Hellfire 2.0 cam, and 
it had a lifter failure also, and it was actually not an MDS lifter that failed, but this car, the MDS lifter, did fail. Um, wiggle that bearing right there. Oh, here, let me put it on the table so I can kind of hold it stationary. So I ain't moving around. Let me focus here. All right, so look at the movement, see? I mean, got that, normal, that up and down movement was absolutely hammering guys i expected this camshaft to be trashed but within 20 minutes of shutting this thing down when he heard it it basically saved it from having any metal shavings or anything like that start trying to go through the motor which normally happens um but for the most part it's not a big deal um you can, you know, do proper steps, flush it out, check your, your VVT solenoid, which is oh, over here. I'm too fat to reach this thing, but um, we're going to pull that out and check it for shavings tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to find anything in it because our camshaft did not actually get ground down because we he caught it in time. He was smart. <laughs> he was on the way to the race car part still. Yeah, he was actually on the way to Summit because... We got a whole bunch of goodies for this car to come up. So there gonna be a lot of videos guys to come up. Um, so obviously we got a Tomahawk cam. So the next time you hear this car run, it's gonna sound like Frostbite. No, it's actually, it's gonna sound better than Frostbite because this cam, the Tomahawk's bigger than my cam and Frostbite. So this car is going to rock and roll. I'm gonna be jealous actually. So he spent some hard earned money and he got a Holly High Ram blackout oh, yeah. edition. So the car is going to have a high ram. This car is a TA, so it has a TA hood, as you can see. Did some research and it fits. And supposedly it'll fit without cutting the hood, except for underneath. And maybe some, you know, dilly dallies here and there. We're going to try to make it work. Um, so we got a big cam going in. We got a Holly high ram going on it. We have... The kits at home, we got a torque storm for this car. So this car is about to get boosted as well. It's gonna get pretty stupid real quick. Gonna try to keep it still a daily usable car, um, probably on 93 pump gas for right now. But uh, should get pretty quick. I mean, the other day when we went racing, he was hitting 1280s with it on a 93 tune and just a converter on a stock cam. Um, with just a drag pack on the back and stock street tires and wheels still up front. Um, and with one of those in the Cam side. alone should knock it probably another maybe three or four tenths with tuning. Um, you know, the Holly High Ram definitely should help with the boost. I, I expect with the Torque Storm, you know, even if we do low boost around eight to ten pounds of boost, should should easily take a full second maybe a second and a half off the car so i mean this car should should probably go down to 11s pretty easily um we'll see it's gonna be fun but the biggest thing is i'm kind of excited i'm ready to hear this thing run which we'll be putting a startup tune in it tomorrow when we get it buttoned up and uh hear this tomahawk on the first startup tune it's gonna sound freaking sick he looks he looks like a salamander <laughs> I've he he took and coolant three times. <laughs> he has swam in coolant all day today he pulled the hose off it went all over him it was funny actually did and it the twice radiator dumped on me <coughs> yep and the radiator dumped on him i made him do all the crawling under the car stuff because it's his car anyway so yeah he's got to do the work right so uh so yeah tomorrow basically we're gonna be sticking the cam in uh we got to put the springs in the heads we're gonna lap the valves while we're doing the springs um and pretty much uh yeah and then we got to put the lockout this cam requires a lockout so that's our phaser um we got to put a lockout in the phaser for it and then we got brand new hellcat oem uh non M non msd lifters as well to put in it so it's gonna be fun that's what's going down today in the uh the old garage hell yeah y'all stay safe out there um gotta give F frp flying ryan gotta give him big props he sent me like i said we got all the parts from him real quick 
we got a startup tune for him super quick and uh it's what's making this thing go down guys so stay tuned zorro is going to sound sick we'll see you on the next one